All right, it's a little bit windy out here, so hopefully you can hear us. Uh, first things first, as I drive forward into the plants, the snouts will run alongside the plants and each row will go into its own spot on the header. As that's happening, these rollers right here are spinning around really quickly. They're spinning towards each other, pulling the plants down really fast. As the plant gets pulled down, it hits the cob right here on these deck plates. So because the cob is wider, it gets popped like this and the cob will pop off and end up in here in between these gathering chains. These gathering chains then are moving backwards towards the combine and this auger runs in like this and feeds in from each side like this where these center paddles will grab the corn and pull it into what we call the feeder house. So this feeder house right here is a kind of a big drum that runs from one side to the other. It's got three chains on it and it's got these paddles right here that grab the grain as it rolls and it pulls it in back through there. Any questions, Onyx? What are these for, these little boxes? These ride along the ground and they sense how high the header is. So I can adjust how high I want these snouts to ride on the ground. And this senses how high it is. This, this is for the auto steer. So this bounces along on the plants and it taps along these plants and it senses where that plant is and then the combine steers itself to keep the row in line with right where they need to be. So back here, this is what we call the feeder house and it's this area from here right behind the header to this area here right underneath where we sit. This is where it pulls the corn in, it pulls the cobs in, you want all the cobs to go in and you want as few as little of this trashy stuff to go in as possible. So you want less leaves and trash inside there. But you can't prevent it all from getting in there. Once it comes through the feeder house, there's a big cylinder underneath this cover. And it's a big round cylinder with some paddles on it. And it's right in here. And it spins around really quickly and it grabs that, that uh, grain that's coming in the feeder house. Kind of moves up here. And once it hits here, it gets thrown back really quickly into what we call the rotor. The rotor is underneath here and it's inside here. I'll pull this shield off for you. It's a little easier to see then. So the rotor is inside underneath here. It's a great big giant metal corkscrew. And after the feed accelerator throws the grain into it, it's basically spinning around and it pulls that grain, the feed acceler spinning and pulls that grain through it. As it's being pulled through it, I'll pull these covers off so you can see inside there better. What, what's your question? It was running and you know how they were kind of spinning back and forth? What yep. were those things right here? I'll get to that, that runs other stuff. So this big corkscrew is hard to see, but it's inside these grates. And it's a big steel corkscrew that spins around. And it pulls the grain in from the beginning. It pulls it through here, and as it's spinning, the grain and the kernels, the part that we want, falls through these grates. And it falls onto these augers, where these augers pull it through to the pre-chaffer here where it starts to shake and separate the grain a little bit more from the trashy stuff that comes through. So, it gets separated in here and then it comes back here to separate more. What makes it through this area keeps going back and it goes back farther and farther on this rotor, on this big corkscrew. And as it falls, it keeps going down onto the chaffer and eventually down onto the sieves inside there. So. When it first gets to this chaffer, it will separate. And basically the chaffer and the sieves are these sets of metal fingers in here that kind of dance around. 
and they shake around and they separate so that they, they help separate the chaff from the kernels that we want. So while they're separating in there and they're dancing around, there's a big fan blowing down in through here. There's a big fan that blows through those screens and basically blows all this stuff out the back. And then the kernels fall through to the bottom where they get sent into an auger that gets taken to the other side. I'll show you a better view here inside the sieves and chaff. So there's a better view up front there. I'll show you in a second here, Onyx. Up front there is the chaffer where it shakes it down and separates it. As after it gets down to the sieves and gets separated some more, it will end up in our clean grain auger. Any of the trash that gets through the rotor that doesn't end up falling through those grates or the concaves into the chaffer and the sieves, when the machine knows it's definitely got the trash, it throws it out through this final beater here and it throws it against the back wall and between the fan blowing the air and the beater throwing the trash and those knives up there on this drum swinging around really fast. It throws it all out the back. So it throws it out the back and spreads it out as much as possible. As it's throwing it out, these knives are swinging around and chopping up the leaves and the trash into a, as many pieces as possible and spreading it out as evenly as possible. So as it's separating, there's an auger down underneath here. Anything that gives gets through those sieves or that final screen takes this clean grain and it augers it over to here where there's rubber paddles inside here on a chain that bring the clean grain up to our tank. And And that's where we want it. That's the good stuff. The stuff that ends up going way through the rotor and ends up falling through and getting in through the chaffer and the sieves but is a little bit dirtier ends up in here and this is our tailings auger. What this does is grab some of the stuff where the machine hasn't decided yet if it's trash or if it's good kernels that we want it actually augers that back up and dumps it in up here and sends it back through the rotor or through that corkscrew again to be threshed a second time where hopefully a lot of it will end up down in the bottom through those sieves and end up in our clean grain auger going up into the tank. Onyx, do you have any more questions? No. No, no more? All right. That is the basics of how our combine works. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up or subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them.